Howdy Tinker Nerds, this is the comment show for how to make a smartphone controlled RC car. If you haven't seen the video yet, you know what to do. At the end of the video I asked what else you would like to control with a smartphone. So let's see what you guys had to say. What about my home? Heat, lights, etc. My bedroom light for sure. I'm working on a robotic Minecraft dog. I'm so gonna use this. Phone controlled lock. A toilet flush. Those ideas sound pretty good. All right. I would like to control my girlfriend with a smartphone. What else would you like to control with a smartphone? My response, the world. I would like to see how to control Russia's intercontinental ballistic missiles, please. A whole factory of child laborers. Hey. Next question. Gigafied, have you seen ArduPilot? I have. An ArduPilot is basically a shield for an Arduino that's intended to be used as a flight controller for drones. However, these can get pretty expensive and pretty difficult to use. And it's definitely overkill for a little project like this. That's cool, but range probably is small, isn't it? The range really depends on the quality of the Bluetooth module that you decide to purchase. In the video, I used a really cheap Bluetooth module, so the range really isn't that good. However, depending on what you purchase, you can get up to 30 feet of range for your Bluetooth module. You can simply control the RC car with its remote control. The process you did, it was complicated, and some users can't understand it. <sighs> if the only thing you got from this video was how not to use an RC controller, then let me be the first to enlighten you about the concept of curiosity. It's what happens whenever you want to learn how something works. It drives us to take it apart, dissect it, try to understand it, and then duplicate it or make it better. Curiosity is the root of what motivates us to learn and to grow in knowledge. And since my channel is built on those principles, it may be better if you refrain from commenting until you're more familiar with them. Why do you actually need that motor driver? Technically, this could be done using just a Bluetooth adapter, an Arduino, and some motors. However, it's not really recommended to connect motors directly to an Arduino. To ensure that you don't fry your Arduino, it's recommended that you use at least one diode, one transistor, and one resistor per motor. And at that point, you'll have so many wires and parts connected to a breadboard, using a motor controller is just easier. The Google Chrome icon needs to be rotated approximately 90 degrees clockwise to be the correct way up. That is an incredibly nerdy observation. Bravo, sir. Bravo. You spelled smartphone wrong. Thanks. It's nice to have a spelling expert to help me out. Wait a tick. Alright guys, just a quick status update on the state of things here at Tinkernut. My next video is going to be my April Fool's Day video. And despite what I said in my last video, I'll still release my Raspberry Pi supercomputer video whether I meet my Patreon goal or not. And on my website, I'm going to stop asking people to pledge money to release new tutorials. Those that have already pledged money, thank you so much for your support, and I will contact you each personally to notify you of what the next steps are. My goal is to have just one place where people can go and donate money if they want to. And so I'm going full force with the Patreon project. Alright guys, thanks very much for your comments and your feedback, and I will see you guys next week.